Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dimitrios and this is going to be a follow-up video to my previous home entertainment setup. I'm going to be going over the IKEA website uh, and how I designed my unit and I'm going to show you guys how you can customize and use IKEA's planner and make it really easier. So let's get started shall we? And I'm already on IKEA's website as you can see. This is IKEA Canada by the way and if you scroll down, uh, actually sorry let's just go back up and if you go type in Besta because that is the unit that I have and as it loads you can see there's several units they ha it has the planning tool here but essentially the unit that I have which I've measured is this one here it's the 180 by 40 by 74 centimeters I am using metric units today that is what I am used to coming from the UK there is the imperial units in inches too so if we click on this and you can see like this is similar to my unit but as you can see it differs there's doors on the, on the left and the right side but the door in the center is how I have mine and then you have shelves but you can customize this however you like so obviously as you can see here you have all the color options but again they're just solid colors for the whole unit it's not two-tone like I have as mine like you would want to customize your unit to give yourself options let's say you want a theme and you're using certain colors in your condo or your house and you you're going for a white and wood theme or you're going for a black and red theme whatever you your heart desires and you want to go for a particular style for your room or house you want to make it more customizable and not just be stuck to one color that ikea give you so how do we do this how did i get to my unit and this, I didn't have the IKEA planner back in 20, 2016. I didn't know it was available. I don't think it was, uh, but I still got around it regardless. So how do I get to this now? Now, if we go back to the homepage and scroll to the bottom and you'll see here, where is it? It will say buying guides. Now, first of all, if we click this and you have the different areas of the room, and it's, it's this one's under the storage category. So I'm just going to click on storage. And if we scroll down, oh, if we, if you click on the more, sometimes the IKEA website's a bit weird, but click on more and then you'll come up with these buying guides. So if you click on the best start buying guide or whatever product or product family you're looking for, you can click on that guide. Now, what you, you're here with a PDF from IKEA and it has several options here and it's got all the different components that are available under this family. So we keep scrolling down now, you can see they've given you already combinations that you may would like. So you're like, okay, you have the TV bench here. This is the part number, it's one piece. Uh, and then you have the shelves and you get two pieces of those. So if you want this unit here on the top left, these are all the parts you need. They've given you everything. It's really easy. So you take that to Ikea and then you go to aisle two, row, whatever it may be, etc. Now, these are all the best, all the, the best of frames. So this is everything that you can have individually. So if we scroll, let's just use this one here. So it says the best of frame. This frame comes in three colors. And these are the codes for it. So you can just write that down if you want and be like, okay, that's the part that I want. Here's the TV benches. So the one I have is this best of TV bench, this three one, the 180 by 40 by 64. And these are the three color availables. And this is just the frame itself. There's no doors, no nothing with that. Then you come up to the door faces. So again, the, this, the door is under a different family name, but let's say it's sub-family. So Lapviken is the other, is this door and it's 60 by 64. So you could have three of those if you like, if you just want swing doors. And they come in three colours. If you want a smaller one, then yeah, you've got a, a smaller one, you can just have a shelf on top. Or as I have, where you have four drawers, 
with one shelf just to cover the top, the, the top of the bottom drawer. Then it's the 60 by 26. And then again, comes in three colors. This is essentially it. I'm not gonna go through everything. You've got hardware options here, whether you want handles or mounting rails that you have here. Suspension rails, which you can hang onto a wall. You've got soft closing hinges, TV mounts here. There's a big list. I don't know why this, this PDF, I, Ikea, you have a, a, a page that's landscape at the moment. You might want to fix that and turn that round, but it's still viewable. So if I turn in my head, it's because I'm trying to read it. But you can see here, you've got soft close runners or the push ones like I have, etc. Now I'm going to close this window and we're going to go back to the home page. And let's make this much easier for you to design. And then instead of fiddling around like I did, like drawing and using a pencil, I actually figured this out last night to make, and it's going to be easier for you guys. And I will give you the list of parts from this video today. And if you would like to design your own or as I have for my uh, unit, you can do that too. Go to Ikea Planner. And then you have planning tools. We scroll down and we click on storage. Because that's again, the best that is under the storage. We have best planner right here in the middle, right on the top. We click on that. And it is loading. Now you can select any of the pictures here, for any of these pictures you like, and it will jump straight into the planner with the parts already available and I can show that to you. So let's just click this top left one here. It's going to load. Now that this has loaded, you can see that this is the white best of family. It's got a bottom unit and a top unit and then two side units here, the two vertical side units It's giving you the price. And if we go to finalize, did that work? There we go. If we go to finalize, then you have your product list already. You have pictures of what the unit's like and an assembly of you. So it's like I said, everything's like Lego. When you open a box of Lego, everything is numbered. It's really simple to, to use, but I can understand how many people struggle with the visualization of putting things together. Uh, I do build Ikea units myself via TaskRabbit. Uh, people hire me for that and I have a five-star rating as well so if you if you need help with uh, building IKEA furniture and you are downtown Toronto look uh, search for me on TaskRabbit I'll put my link down below and you can book me and I can come and build your IKEA furniture or help you plan if you wish so yeah there's it gives you all the parts all the different frames it's really simple but let's go back and we want to design our own one. Uh, oh, create new, there you go. So I'm gonna leave this. Look at that blank slate. We wanna create whatever we want now. So we wanna click on the frame and we wanna to go to 180. That's when we know that's what it was. And the depth was 40. And how do we, oh, but if we keep scrolling down, you can see the different units. And obviously mine is the big one. I know the sizes, I measured it. So it's the 180 by 40 by 64. I'm so glad IKEA use metric units. So I'm gonna click on this and it puts it into the uh, left-hand side of the window. This is my frame. I had a white frame. You could probably change your color. Oh, there you go. If you keep scrolling down, you have your different colors. And you can see it already has the cable management as well for you inbuilt. The one I had in England didn't have that. It was like version one. Uh, they've obviously upgraded their furniture to incorporate cable management, which is really handy. But now we wanna put the design, create the design that I had. So we wanna add a door now, front. So if we keep scrolling down for the different parts, and I had, oh, there we go. There's the walnut uh, door that I have. So. There you go, it places it in the middle. And if I wanted to, you can keep placing them and it will place them. Or you can click on a component and delete it. Uh, yeah, and it, so now we want to, you can even move it. So if I wanted to move this to the left, 
you just simply click and drag. And if I move it to the right, just drag to the right again. Mine was in the middle. Let's keep it there. Uh, how do I go back out now? Oh, you just unclick. There we go. And let's add the draw. So we click here, draws. If you hover over it, it will tell you the different parts that you want to add. So we can even search quicker. So it says, I know it's, it says walnut gray. So I'm just going to click on gray. And there you go. And now I know that the drawers that I have, I had four of those drawers and it was 60 by 26 centimeters. So I'm just going to click on that. Oh, it already adds it in the correct place. It adds it in the correct place. So I'm just going to keep on adding it. Now, it doesn't look quite like it. It's just stacked them on top. But all I'm going to do is click on it and drag it up. And I'm going to do the same on the right hand side. This is looking very similar to what I had now. Uh, buttons here on the left hand side. If you tick that or uncheck that, you can see the drawers already on place. And I'm just using my uh, trackpad on my MacBook to focus in. And you can like swing around to see how it fits on the wall. This is great for helping you visualize of where you would like your furniture in your house, room, apartment. And you can see the drawers are already part of the door face. They've taken that into consideration. And that you can take the measurements off if you like to clean that up or you can keep those on. So the drawers are there, which is great. But now I can add shelves and I can see what's behind the doors. I don't have to guess. So if we go to this here, it says shelves. I'm just going to click on that. And I chose walnut shelves again, just to keep it, uh, keep the theme going. You can choose black, you can choose white, whatever you prefer. Or glass even, I didn't know there was an option. So I'm just going to add four shelves. One, two. Oh, so they've just stacked them right now. So I'm just going to move these up. And I'm going to add two more. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, there you go. I'm just going to drag and bring that up. That is how my unit looks inside. It's the shelves are all one level on the bottom row. And then there's one shelf in the middle that matches the underneath almost of the bottom drawer. Again, you can put the drawers or shelves, I should say, whatever height you want, whatever fits, whatever items you want to fit in there. So you can have this all the way at the top. You can have this lower down. You can not have it at all. But I had the four shelves. I'm going to put the doors back on now. And there we go. I, we just built my unit. So this is the unit that I have. Really easy to use. Don't worry if the, the effects of the walnut aren't the same. Like mine obviously are all vertical. They are like this middle one, not horizontal like this. Uh, it's you, you would see from the video, my previous video. So the total price for this is 320 Canadian dollars. So if you click save later, it comes up with the design code and a QR code. I'm going to close this window. Now if we go to finalize, you can see all the components. It's giving you the, the soft closed door hinge as well. And there you go. You can add to your shopping list, add to shopping bag. You could even take a screenshot and take this to go to Ikea and then go and get the parts yourself, load them into your SUV or your pickup truck or have it delivered to your house. And that is Ikea's planner. It's a great tool. Uh, so if you are looking to have uh, buy furniture for your new apartment or house, Ikea is very affordable. I like it. I, like I said, I use TaskRabbit. People need assistance they may not have time to build ikea and that is what i am for i'd like to thank you all for watching my video today i hope it was informative this video wasn't sponsored by ikea uh, please give my video a like and subscribe and if you have any comments please put a comment down below and i will answer you can follow me on instagram and if you do live downtown toronto and would like assistance designing uh, your furniture or assembling your furniture, you can hire me on TaskRabbit, which I'll provide a link down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.